Hi, I'm Jake. I make RPG supplements and videos about Pathfinder 2, or Pff 2. I love Pff 2. And I'm just gonna keep going with the Tion Trial stuff until it's all talked about. Um, cause, like, I don't think it's out there. I've looked around, and there's some. But not all of it's been covered, so I may as well. For people that are working or busy and they can just listen to this even though they own the book. They just haven't had time to read it. Tian Leshi. Unlike other Leshis, Tian Leshis often spontaneously emerge from the natural vessel they were born in, whether it be a bamboo stalk or a peach fruit, and then dance across the world with traits very similar to humans. How would that be for a shock? You're just having a picnic and suddenly a person pops out of your peach. Yeah, that is a magical world. That that can happen in these games. Freaking weird. Actually, I just recently had a, a recurring NPC that somebody in the Discord server made, Erlorn Wolf made, uh, sort of spontaneously spawn six dragonkin fungal leshies. It made sense in the story. It was weird, but it made sense. And, and it's fun. And they're just following Papa around. Anyway. These Leshies tend to have supernatural quirks in their appearance that give them away. Strange eye colors, twig-like hair, leaf-shaped ears, and the like. Their bodies might have a verdant hue. Their back might be curved like a bonsai. Or they might be as short and shy as... Makaiya. Is that a plant? I don't know what that is. Short and shy, Makaya. Sure, great, whatever. Leshy heritages. Chrysanthemum leshy, uncommon. You look like a human child, and that is a creepy image on that on the screen. Holy crap! You are a creepy human child. Look at you. Why is your nose so big? Do do children grow into their noses? <laughs> Anyway, you look like a human child, though, with a grand crown of chrysanthemums growing from your head. Ornate as an emperor's. These petals have medicinal properties, granting you a plus one circumstance bonus to saving throws against poison. Furthermore, during your daily preparations, you can harmlessly pluck a few petals from your head and steep them in fresh water to create a single lesser antidote, which takes the form of a tea. Dude, that's cool! At level 6, you instead create a moderate antidote. At level 10, a greater antidote. And at level 14, a major antidote. That's neat. The tea loses its effectiveness if not consumed before your next daily preparations. Doesn't say it has to be for you. It's just always useful. That is a neat heritage ability. Very neat. Hadn't thought of that. That's cool. The other Leshy heritage. Peach Child Leshy. Uncommon. Your Leshy spirit took hold in a massive peach fruit before your body split forth from it, possibly emulating a past hero who was born in the same manner. In the same manner from a peach, excuse me. Okay. You look like a human child, though with a perpetual flush of pink to your complexion, and perhaps a few peach leaves growing from your body. The nature spirit inside you puts certain animals at ease. You can ask questions of and receive answers from household animals and livestock, such as dogs or pheasants, as well as use diplomacy to make an impression on and request things of them. Most domesticated animals have an indifferent or friendly starting attitude toward you and give you time to make your case, though other animals react to you like any other adventure. That's cute and fun! A leshy that animals like. Just innately. That's so cool. Alright, leshy feats. First level. Childlike plant. Prerequisites. Chrysanthemum leshy heritage or peach child leshy heritage. You are adept at hiding your plant-like features to pass as a human. You become trained in deception or another skill if you're already trained in deception. Don't go into my mugs. You don't require a disguise kit when attempting deception checks to impersonate a human. In addition, you gain a plus four circumstance bonus to impersonate checks to pretend that you're a human version of yourself rather than a leshy. This bonus doesn't apply to other checks to impersonate humans. So childlike plant is cool. I kind of wish any leshy could take it, but I get why these do because they already innately look a lot more humanish than the leshies that we know and love. Level five feats. 
Unassuming Heroes. Frequency once per day. Access Peach Child Leshy Heritage. That's access only, so it has the uncommon trait because of it. If you get GM's approval, you can take it if you're any kind of Leshy. Or maybe even a Gorin. Who knows? But if you are a Peach Child Leshy Heritage, the uncommon trait's removed, so you can just take it. You have a talent for making friends through simple kindness, often among stray animals or other creatures that people tend to overlook. And your inherent magic can make these acts take on additional power. This is adorable. As an interact action, you can feed a small treat, such as a millet dumpling, to an animal that has an indifferent or better attitude toward you. For the next one minute, one of the animal's unarmed attacks becomes a plus one striking unarmed attack? Really? If it was already a plus one striking attack and instead gains the effects of a ghost touch rune, this is so neat! A leshy that's good with, like, an animal companion. That's cool! Next level five feet. Noble Bloom reaction. It has the uncommon emotion, mental, and visual traits. Access Chrysanthemum Leshy Heritage. Trigger. An ally within 30 feet would be reduced to zero hit points, but not immediately killed. Frequency once per day. Certain plants and flowers hold a reputation throughout Tian Sha for being strong and upstanding, able to weather adversity. In the moment your ally would succumb to their injuries, you stand tall and bloom proudly, radiating this strength for them. <laughs> your ally avoids being knocked out and remains at one hit point, and their wounded condition increases by one, as does your own! Oh, that sucks! I will hurt myself for you. Rise, warrior. That's kind of cool. I, I kind of picture it as like, you're a plant, right? Chrysanthemums. So like, out of your chest blows a column of chrysanthemum petals and they like surround and lift up your ally who fell sort of as an explanation for how you're taking wounds because it's pieces of you leaving. That seems kind of fun. Ninth level feats. Kodama Call. Uncommon and Leshy access Tian Sha origin. The small spirits known as Kodama pride themselves in taking care of trees and other vegetation, and they'll happily come to your aid as well. You can cast Helpful Wood Spirits as a second rank innate primal spell twice per day. That is very cute. That is not worth a ninth level feat. That is kind of shit. And I'm sad. Cool flavor. Go for it if you just want the flavor. That's pretty much all it is. Next feat. Level 9. Green dash. One action. Frequency once per 10 minutes. Requirements. You're adjacent to a tree, shrub, or plant that occupies at least 5 foot square. I was just thinking, would a Goron count? Because they have the plant trait. And they occupy a five-foot square. I think so. The spirits of vegetation send you on your way, letting you move in a burst of speed. You stride with a 15-foot status bonus to your speed. You can burrow, climb, fly, or swim instead if you have the corresponding movement type. That's cool. That's actually quite useful. That is very useful in most games. Very most games, like the vast majority of games, that'll be useful in. So that was Green Dash. That's good. Next feat, level 9, Sash of the Wind, Uncommon Leshy Access, Tian Sha Origin. At your request, the nature spirits of the air and wind spin themselves into an iridescent sash loosely draped around your shoulders that buoys you through the sky. You can fly, sorry, you can cast fly on yourself as a fourth rank innate primal spell once per day. If the sash created by this feat is removed, the spell immediately ends. So interesting. This book has so much interesting flavor to it. Anyway, obviously, fly spell is great. Getting it from your ancestry and not having to spend spell slots on it, greater. It's a good feat. 13th level feat. Flower Chimera. It has the uncommon, uncommon and leshy traits. Access Tian Sha Origin. 
You call on a Guardian of the Wild to burst forth from the land to aid you. You can cast Spiritual Guardian as a 5th rank innate primal spell once per day, even if you don't have a deity. This Guardian manifests as a Kami or other nature spirit. That makes sense. When you reach 17th level, you can heighten the spell to 7th rank. That's great. That is a good, defensive, helpful spell. Spiritual Guardian is basically a mini melee warrior. They can defend somebody by reducing damage they take by a little bit. Or they can attack somebody. I'll put the 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 spell description on the screen right now. Last feat, level 17, return to the seed. Once per month, when you die, you can instead choose to fade away. This is like the third time I've seen this. Your corpse is swallowed by the earth, leaving behind only a seed. This seed is very fragile with an AC of 10 and only one hit point. Another creature can spend one minute to plant the seed in a safe space and water it. If so cared for, the next morning a tree grows from it with a single large fruit or flower bud that splits open to reveal you alive and return to maximum hit points. Oh. That's really cool. It's only a minute. This is great. It's, it's once per month, and it doesn't take you, like, a week to recover. It's not like a resurrection spell. This is awesome. Because the very next day, you can come back. Yeah. This is great. That's really good 17-level feat of returning from the dead. I wish they all worked that way, just that fast. All right. Neat. That That's good. That's surprising. All right. So that is all for the Peach Child Leshy and the Chrysanthemum -um 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 Leshy. Thank you for joining me. If you're a patron, I appreciate your presence, both the gifts and your existence. And I'm glad that we get to talk on Discord. I'm glad that you guys are there. I know some of you aren't, but those people that aren't there, I'm not talking to because they're not watching videos either. Like, there's a couple of you that are patrons that just are busy, and so you don't watch many videos. I don't understand that. But I appreciate those of you who are there for being able to talk to you. I still appreciate the other ones. <laughs> if you want to catch up on t on Shop Playlist is here. And over here is going to be build videos, because why not? The builds are fun. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>